Hello guys, Crispy here, welcome back to another video in this one, my friends, I'm going to be testing a GeForce RTX 4070 in once human. This one is the Founders Edition model of the card, we are running it with the latest NVIDIA drivers and I'm not manually overclocking it. You can see all of its specs right here in Tech Power Ups, GPU Zero says Bar is also enabled, and over on the left we're pairing it with a Ryzen 9 7950X 3D with half of its cores disabled, so it's basically the same as a 7800X 3D, and on the memory tab we're using 32GB of DDR5 6000MHz RAM in June channel. Let's get into it, shall we? And here we have it, let's go over the settings first. I am starting at 1080p resolution, but I'm also going to test higher resolutions in this one, and we're utilizing the maximum settings aside from motion blur, which is set to low. When I disabled it, it wasn't really disabled, and on low it actually seems to be disabled, so that's something weird going on right there, but everything else is set to the maximum as you can see. Oh, this is interesting, so somebody posted something in my base. Uh, saying, oh my god, wow, L what? <laughs> Seriously? Like, this is my base. <laughs> like, there's nothing here. Absolutely nothing. I just played the game until a point where I found like, yeah, this is a good area to benchmark the game at and that's it. <laughs> but okay, somebody liked it and it got two likes as well. I'm gonna start counting our FPS right now, guys. And as you can see, FPS are very high here, but every now and again, there is a bit of a stutter in that frame time graph, probably because it needs to load everybody else's bases as well and there are like endless bases here and that drops our fps like crazy and pegs our cpu utilization at 100 percent pretty much at all times like it fluctuates a little bit but most of the time it's at 100 percent usage look at this guy it's level 24 right there interesting okay uh, this is a good base see it doesn't have walls or anything but you don't need walls to play this title you know and have your base made and stuff stuff like that. Uh, you only need the special tools. That's that's what I did. Yeah, exactly. That's why people liked my base, probably. No, not really. Anyway, the fact that we're getting 100% CPU usage on 8 cores and 16 threads is absolutely insane. And the fact that I played this on the minimum requirement system with an i5-4460 CPU, and I didn't see 100% CPU utilization with an RX 550, makes me wonder, what the heck is going on? I mean, this is so weird, this is like unheard of. It wasn't maxing out my i5, which is a quad core with four threads, and it's maxing out my Ryzen 9 CPU, I mean, Ryzen 7, because I disabled half of the cores. But at least the game is pretty smooth when it's not stuttering, you know, like... And the spikes that we've seen so far aren't really absolutely terrible. Although, when I first started the game, when I joined the server again, I got a huge spike, okay? Probably just starting to load everybody else's bases. So yeah, it struggled quite a bit for the first, like... Uh, 40 seconds to a minute or so, but now it's more stable and I could actually enjoy the game like this. I would still love to see a bit better frame time graph, a bit more consistent, you know, because it still has some stuttering issues that are noticeable, some little spikes there. And well, the 4070 itself, it's doing a really, really good job. The VRAM usage in this title is extremely low, surprisingly low, actually. Like, I've never expected a 2024 title to consume five gigabytes. I mean, it's allocating almost five gigabytes, but it's actually using only three and a half or so. <laughs> That's so low, guys. Like, kind of insane once again. Holy crap, look at this base, guys. He even has some LED lights right there. Very interesting, holy. Blueprint thingy to research, I guess. <laughs> kind of like Rust, it reminds me of Rust. Uh, wow, look at this. That's it for 1080p resolution, I'm gonna go up to 1440p, and this is it, quite a lot more detailed and still a high refresh rate experience, as you can see, 100 plus frames per second at the moment, still with 100% CPU utilization. This is really weird, I've also seen other people complaining about this issue, mainly on Reddit actually, and uh, yeah, the game just consumes way too much CPU, no matter what CPU you have, it's always going to max it out apparently. Can we actually enter this house? I don't think so. <laughs> it's the territory of somebody else, but okay. Interesting game though, it has a big open world as you can see, let me bring up the map over here. Yeah, we only explored a little bit of it. I need to restart counting the FPS because the FPS went up to the sky there. 
what the hell is that <laughs> over there? It had some particles moving around it, but now it, they disappeared. Okay, interesting. Is it shooting like another planet or something? That's so weird. All right, anyway, around here. Seems like we can loot some things. Okay, hopefully I won't go into a menu. All right, good stuff. Claim everything. What is this? What is going on? <laughs> I don't understand. Oh, it has 377 likes. All right. Maybe it's like a, a quest or something over here. Goodbye, sir. Thank you very much for the kill. Okay. Yeah, it seems to be performing quite well here, guys. I mean, aside from the 100% CPU utilization, which is terrible, I know. It is all right of an experience. I, I kind of hate the, the stuttering issues, though. So I would probably wait for them to fix that before I sank more hours into it. But, uh, whoa, what the hell is going on with you? Oh, boy. No, no, no. No, def definitely not, Scarecrow. Mr. Scarecrow. Goodbye, sir. Thank you very much. What do you have for me? Consumable. Okay. But you know what? Next up, I should probably try out an AMD GPU like the RX 6800 or the 6900 XT in this game. Because with the RX 550, once again, I saw way lower CPU utilization from an i5-4460. It was at around like 40-50% usage most of the time. And this, <laughs> this is a much better CPU. And it's way more utilized at the moment. What the hell is this? Is this Jack? Wait a second. Maybe it's Jack. Uh, no, no, it's not Jack. It's, it's a wolf, as you can see. If it was a cougar, it would be Jack. But yeah, we gotta check out an AMD GPU next in this one to see if the CPU utilization is still the same. Because in that system with the i5 and the RX 550 4GB GPU, the i5 wasn't maxing out at all. But once I installed a 750Ti NVIDIA GPU into that same system, everything else was the same, but the GPU, I saw 100% CPU usage. That, I, I can't explain it, guys. Gotta say that on the very high settings, or maximum settings, which is what we're using at the moment, this isn't really that impressive of a title, right? I thought it was going to be a bit prettier than this, so it's kind of justified that it runs so well, well, in terms of average FPS at least, uh, because, well, the graphics aren't anything special, really. Kind of reminds me of the Division 2's graphics, which aren't bad, you know, but it's nothing special, once again. What the heck? <laughs> Can I kill the dinosaur? I kind of don't want to kill it. You know, it's it's kind of cute and it has a health bar on top, so maybe you can actually kill it. Uh, yeah, we can pet him, apparently. This is so weird. This game is so weird. <laughs> It seems like an interesting game. Do let me know in the comments if you guys are playing it and enjoying it, by the way. I'm kind of curious to see that, and I'm also curious to know whether or not I should test this game more often with more GPUs as well. It seems to be quite popular at the moment, so we'll see how you guys react to it, okay? <laughs> Leave a comment, again, down below. It helps with the algorithm as well. Anyway, um, I guess it's about it for 1440p resolution, right? It's a pretty stable experience, a little bit more stable than at 1080p, probably because CPU usage is a little bit lower right now. We'll have to check at 4K resolution next to see if that CPU usage doesn't hit 100% anymore. So let's do that. 4K resolution using the very high settings or maximum settings. It's not a very high preset. Very high preset still has some things on medium and low, a couple of things actually. And as you can see on 4K resolution, it is way sharper, first of all, because this is quite a soft game at the lower resolutions especially. And it plays quite decently still. It's 60 FPS dropping down into the 50s. I mean, it's not bad considering it's a 4070, right? But uh, considering the game does look like um, the Division 2, Maybe it should perform a little bit better <laughs> in terms of the GPU. But I guess with all of this vegetation, I can't really be too mad about this, guys. Yeah, the, the 4070 isn't even aimed at uh, 4K resolution gaming, yet here we are maxing out a recent title at this res, and it's providing a, a decent uh, experience in terms of playability. Wait a second. I can, I can grab this? Oh! Oh! 
Oh, what is this? What am I doing? Okay, <laughs> wait a second. Let me try to aim at a, a monster with this or zombie. There he is. Hello? Oh, you can actually kill them with this. It's like a heat wave thingy or something. Radiation, maybe. I, I don't know. Look at him begging for his life. <laughs> Very interesting. I don't want it anymore, though. <gasps> There's a PC. There is a PC. What? View. Oh, no. It's just a little note or something. I don't care. I, I really wanted to view the specs of the PC. You know what would be great if the developers introduced some DLSS or FSR into this game because I don't believe it has that and it would make quite a bit of a difference because with a DLSS quality or FSR quality, if it is FSR 3.1, uh, yes, uh, it would get 60 plus FPS 100% of the time at 4K resolution and give pretty much the same visuals if the implementation is semi-decent. In most games, it gets pretty much the same visuals at 4K with DLSS compared to the native resolution stuff at the 4K resolution. So I'd like to see that. Again, it's not really the end of the world. We're getting 60 FPS anyways on average with a 4070 at 4K native res. I, I guess that's good. Eh, kind of. <laughs> uh, it's better than I expected, that's for sure. Before I started benchmarking this title, I thought it was going to be a mess like most games these days. They're super, super demanding, of course. But it kind of isn't. It is very playable here. However, you need to... This is so weird. <laughs> there is a very high and a very high setting. Okay, let's set it to the middle here. We will need to load the shaders again, as you can see. And now it's applied. I kind of want to see it with low AA at the same time, because even at 4K resolution, it's a bit soft, this game. And instead of getting 60 FPS, we're now getting 80 FPS. And things are a little bit sharper, actually, with low AA. So I think I would choose to utilize low anti-aliasing instead of very high anti-aliasing. Doesn't seem to be as soft starting to stutter a little bit more as well maybe just loading this new area with the new shaders i thought it wasn't going to have this much stuttering especially because prior to you getting into a match into a server it actually loads all of the shaders but it still has to load some more things apparently wow holy crap it is dropping so much right here into the 50s damn that's crazy that is actually insane. <laughs> Water in this game is absolutely broken, apparently. Like, we're getting 80 frames per second as soon as we touch the water. Look at that. It goes down so much. Whoa. I guess avoid water in this game <laughs> or maybe don't have fights in water, you know, where you need to aim and stuff like that. Yeah, it's, that's not a good idea because you're going to lose a lot of FPS. Oh, look at that. We have a friend now. Hello. No, 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 no. Just stay there. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. You can live here if you want to. <laughs> well, I think that's about it for this one, guys. Thanks very much for watching. This was quite the roller coaster, you know. Super high refresh rates at the lower resolution, 60 FPS at 4K. Then I set it to middle. It looks very similar and it got 80 FPS, but then it drops into the freaking water again. <sighs> but yeah, overall, it is definitely a playable experience. It can be enjoyable. I just wish they fixed the damn stuttering and CPU utilization is super high for no apparent good reason. I mean, again, it might be because of all of the bases of people around the map, but find a new way to optimize that, please. <laughs> I'll catch you in the next one very soon. As always, love you all. Bye-bye.